we are considering compound interest yet again. Remember the compound interest formula. A equals to P times 1 plus R to the power of N. Where A is actually the final amount or the total value of the investment or loan. P is the principal. R is the rate per annum. And N is the duration. What we have done in the past is actually consider the interest being compounded annually or yearly. However, we need to consider situation where the interest is actually compounded six monthly or three monthly or could be even monthly or daily. All right, let's have a look at uh, some scenarios. Look at situation one. $12,000 is invested at 8% per annum. This is compound interest. And the interest is compounded annually. Let's work out what is the investment worth after 12 years. You know that P is $12,000, R is 8% per annum, N is 12 years. So using the formula A equals to P into 1 plus R to the power of N, we know that P is $12,000, 1 plus R is 1.08 because that's 8% to the power of 12, 12 years. And that gives us 30,218 and 4 cents. Right, scenario two. Now, we are still investing $12,000, but this time we are looking at the interest compounded every six months. Not annually, but six monthly. What is the investment after 12 years? Now, we know that there is actually 12 months in a year. So, compounding interest every 6 months means that we need to divide the interest rate per annum by 2. Because in one year, that is actually 2 6 monthly period. Therefore, that is 2 here. Right? So, it's 8% divided by 2, which yields 4%. This is 4% of interest for every 6 months. Now, because we are looking at 6 monthly period, so in the 12 years, there will be 2 times 12, which is 24 6 monthly periods. Alright? So, in this case, compounding every 6 months will result in an interest rate of 4% every 6 months. And also, there will be 24 periods in the total investment period of 12 years. Right? Let's have a look at how we calculate the value of the investment. This time, P is still the same, $12,000. R, there's a slight change, is 4% because it's 8% divided by 2. Instead of a per annum, this time it's every six month or six monthly. Instead of 12 years, we've got 24 periods or 24 six monthly period. Applying the same formula, A into 1 plus R to the power of N, this time 1 plus R is 1 plus 4%, six monthly period, and 24 periods. Therefore, using that, it yields $30,759.65. Scenario number three. This time, we are looking at the interest being compounded every three months. What is the investment after 12 years? Remember, three monthly period. How many three monthly period are there in a year? Right, four is correct. So, we need to divide the 8% by 4 and we need to multiply the year period 12 by 4. Alright, so 3 monthly period, R is 2% every 3 months because it's 8% per annum divided by 4, give us 3 monthly period. And 12 times 4, which is 48 3 monthly period in 12 years. Again, using the same formula, 
this time, changing 1 plus R is 2% and 48 periods. And the end result is $31,044.85. Right? So remember, when you're looking at six monthly period or three monthly period, you do actually have to change the interest. Just a summary. In this case, we still use A equals P into 1 plus R to the power of N. But we define N as a period which the interest is compounded. So in the situation we have considered, we have three scenarios. The interest is actually compounded either annually, six monthly or three monthly. And that's the rate will be different. So would the period. Depends on whether it's six months or three months. You need to know how many periods are there in one year. If it is given as 8% per annum for six monthly period, you will have 4% every six months. And also for 12 years is 24 six monthly period. For three monthly period, you need to realize that in a year there's four three monthly period, therefore the rate needs to be divided by two. Okay? And the period needs to be sorry, divided by four and the period needs to be multiplied by four. So there is a difference between the rate, six monthly rate, three monthly rate, and the period of investment. Alright. Now, I want you to take five minutes, pause the video for five minutes and work on this example. In this case, we are looking at a loan, right? Kathy actually borrowed 40000 from the bank to start her own business. The interest rate is 6% compounded annually and Kathy will pay the whole loan back at the end of the loan period, which is four years. Now, you have to consider how much Cathy has to pay back after four years and what is the total interest paid by Cathy? Think a little bit further. What is the total repayment if the interest is compounded monthly or daily? Right, pause the video now for about five minutes and see if you can work up the total amount Cathy has to pay uh, when the interest is compounded annually and the in total interest paid by Cathy. And then consider what is the total repayment if the interest is compounded monthly or daily. You probably have enough time now to work out the solution. Let's have a look. In the first situation, where the interest is compounded yearly, P is 40,000. R is 6% per annum and N is 4 years. So you should know how to apply this formula now, fairly straightforward. The total amount of loan is 50,499.08. The total interest is A minus P and that is 10,499.08. Now, if the interest is compounded monthly, monthly, you know that there's 12 months in a year. So the interest is actually divided by 12, which gives us 0.5% per month. And N is 4 years times 12 months, that's 48 periods. Using the same formula, A equals P into 1 plus R to the power of N, but this time R is 5% and N is 48 period. And you we get $50,819.57. What if the interest is compounded daily? The 6% per annum rate has to be divided by 365. And you work out that the interest rate is now 6 over 365% per day. And the period is 4 years times 365 days and it's 1460. Note that we don't consider leap year in this case. We'll take years as 365. Okay? So substituting this R, N, and P into the same equation, we know that therefore this is actually 
50,848.96. Note that I've made a mistake here. That should be A. All right? So A is 40,000 into 1 plus 6 over 365% uh, to the power of 1460. You should use your calculator to work this out. Right? This is the end of the video. Thanks very much for listening.